we're over here with our overhead door and we are over here with our overhead door and our optic sensors are close enough to the floor they're not supposed to be higher than six inches from the floor they're not higher than six inches from the floor that's a good thing these are our control wires going to our optic sensors and they have been stapled with metal staples they have not been stapled with insulated staples those are the wrong type of staples for those wires those staples can pinch and break those wires so coming along here on the first panel first second third fourth on the first panel on the outside corners of the first panel we should have spring tension notices posted on each side of the door and we do not have spring tension notices posted on that and then we're supposed to have a, a handle inside of the door. We are. This is an emergency release handle. We're going to pull this. Okay. We want to see some things. Going to come over here. We don't have a handle to grab a hold of. I hope I don't bend the door. All right. This tells us that the door is balanced. All right. So that way, if we pull the handle, we can stop it from closing. That way and it doesn't cause too much stress to the motor. So we do not have spring tension notices. We do not have handles. We do not have a safety notice posted inside of here. Our door lock does work. Our control button is higher than five inches from the ground, so it helps us a little, keeps the little hands from coming in. That's a good thing. This warning notice right here, that's a good thing. We're supposed to have a warning notice like this posted over here on this. And what are you plugging into the... Oh, I think they... You're not supposed to use your alarm system for... You're not supposed to use your alarm system for power. This receptacle outlet is only supposed to be used for the motor, solely for the motor. Which reminds me... I have to get in here a little bit. It is on GFCI. Good for us. I just turned the GFCI back on. I just turned the refrigerator back on. All right. I made a business decision to do no harm. My inspection agreement that's posted on my website states that I do not do block test for the safety reverse for door openers. Now, I will test it with the optic sensor, but not the block test. And I've baked instructions on how to do a block test inside your inspection report. And it should have been in the inspections that came with your LiftMaster. And so the builder can come over here for your final and show you the block test. He can put a block underneath there and he can follow the instructions. He can do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So here we go. Let's see if you can get this thing hooked it back up. I am not seeing our courtesy light. Now, this door comes with an app. Okay, LiftMaster, the manufacturer's installation instructions supersedes code. Manufacturer's instruction supersedes code. So this door opener, you can open and close it from your car. You can open and close it from the store. You can open and close it from the Department of Motor Vehicles. You can open and close it from anywhere. You know, the Department of American Post Office. You can open and close from anywhere. But you can't see it. But you can't see it. So you could close this and squash a cat or something. By code, this switch is supposed to be within sight of this door. But the manufacturer, the UL listed, supersedes code. And they said, well, we, we can put our switch by the door, but you can open and close the door from anywhere. So I'm not sure what that's... So here we go. We're, we're going to do it. I'm going to turn across the tundra. Take my big old flat zombie hook like a dancing ball. Safety reverse. No optic 